Hello and welcome back to Crazy Dove Studio. In this video, we will look at how to take a backup for a SQL database with an always on availability group configuration using the CLI command NSR SQL SV. To support taking backup of the SQL database using the NSR SQL SV, there are a few prerequisites, one being installation of the NMM agent as well as the networker client agent on all the nodes that are part of the availability group. The second and the most important is that you have to have the client instances for the availability group name as well as all the nodes that are part of the availability group created on networker. So there are other additional general prerequisites related to configuring the backup like a storage node should be available for the backup and a device with an appropriate volume for a particular pool that you want to use for the backup also should be available for this particular backup to work. Now let's go ahead and jump on any one of the nodes of the availability group. In my case, I have logged into node by the name SQL2, which is part of the availability group SQL underscore AG1. Now in this availability group, I have one database and at the moment, uh, the node SQL1 is secondary and SQL2 is primary. The backups, uh, the configuration on my always on is set to prefer secondary. So that means that the backup uh, is going to be triggered on the secondary node, even though I run the SQL command here. Let's go ahead and do that. Before we run the NSR SQL SV command, we need to authenticate ourselves to the network server. And for that, we will need to run the NSR login command with the minus H switch, which is for C server. So NSR Linux and our username, put in the password. So I had the uh, host name of my C server wrong so now that is in and I have been authenticated successfully let's look at the command itself and the switches that are available to me for that for the NSR SQL SV command before we run that I just wanted to quickly take you to the save set query list and show you that there are no backups at the moment that are created out of this so the command that we need is NSR SQL SV. So NSR SQL save command. And the switches that we require is one is minus S, which is the name of our network server, minus B, which is name of the backup pool that we want to use. Next, I need the name of our AG group with a minus C switch. In our case, it is NSR SQL AG1. Then I will need the save set that is the database that we want to backup or the name of the SQL instance that we want to backup. So we are using the default instance on the availability group and the, and the save set for that would be MS SQL with a hash so whenever you need to specify the name of an availability group you need to use hash and the name of my availability group is sql underscore ag1 now as you saw i just have one database under this so if in case if you have multiple databases and want to back up just one single database then you can go ahead and name that database here or if you want to you back up all the databases you can leave it blank let's hit enter and wait for the backup to initiate you will see that this is now initiating so right now it is on sql 2 where the backup is running but the actual backup is going to run on sql 1 which is the current secondary uh, replica node i have an error here but i don't think that should be much of an issue you will see that the command has been initiated now let me pause the recording until the backup completes so our backups have completed successfully the error that you see on the top is uh, basically because the time on my network server and the sql has not synced properly I mean, there, there is some time difference uh, you should not be uh, seeing that anyway if you have 
then the time on your network server and the client synced properly. So if you see here, it lists the databases that it has completed successfully. And let's now go to the NMC, just make sure that we have that back, back up in here. So there we have it. So this is a very basic uh, usage. So if in case you want to use advanced switches like uh, splitting up the backup into multiple streams and so on, you can use the relevant switches. For more details on the switches, you can uh, always refer to the network command app or use the command reference guide for the respective module. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments, share it with our community in the comment section below, or you can drop me a message at my Twitter account. I will see you on another video. Goodbye.